Professor Derek Abbott, I'd now like to introduce you. You're from the School of Electronic and Electrical Engineering at the University of Adelaide. Professor, thank you for joining us this morning. Good day, Ali. You've just heard a few coincidences there. We've been inundated with them all morning. Oh, yes, let's hear some more. They're good fun, aren't they? Oh, they're amazing. They're absolutely amazing. So, yes, please keep the texts and calls coming through as well. Is there any way that you can explain these coincidences from a mathematical or statistical perspective? Yes, there is, but uh, I don't think my explanation will be very popular because it kind of takes the romance out, <laughs> of, the, uh, out of the coincidences. <laughs> It's a bit like the phenomena of, um, you know, if you just put lots of random dots on a piece of paper, mm -hmm. of course you're going to find a triangle in there, the lots of them in fact, but then it gets a bit more likely to, unlikely to say see a face in there, but if you have as, enough dots, you, you'll eventually find a, a face or a, a shape of a dog or, or something like that. And life is so complex, there's so many people on the planet, so many different events happening, that things are going, things are going to happen all the time. And what, we've, what we do is we, in fact, cherry pick after the fact. Uh -huh. And so then it looks like a coincidence. Whoa. So let, let me give you a classic example. Let's say uh -huh. you're out, out on a date. Okay? Yes, okay. sure. You, you've gone for coffee with this bloke. <laughs> yes, okay, hang on, yep. <laughs> and, you're, and you're talking and you talk about, you know, your life and he talks about his and you go, oh, my God, we're born in the same month, <laughs> you yep, know. Or, yep, yep. Or, uh, mm -hmm. and what day were you born on? Uh, the seventh. Oh, I was born on the ninth. Oh, that's only two days apart. Oh, wow, that's really close. And and it all feels very romantic. Um, uh, and the fact is, you you two have cherry picked that because there 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 are probably millions of blokes in the world who've got who've been birth. on a date with me. No. Well, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> who've got, who've got a, a birthday close to yours, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. And you just happen to be dating that one that night. And then, and because he's one of them, you suddenly felt that was special. Now, let's, let's look at it another way around. Let's say that didn't happen and his birthday was something completely different. Yes. You two would have gone on talking and then you would have found something else. You would have gone, oh, yeah, my mum... Uh, worked in such and such a town in 1940 whatever and so did mine uh, you, you know you'll keep going until you okay. find something else so, so, uh, um, and, and then that will then feel like the coincidence and so um, that, that's the funny thing about it we, we've, we, we cherry pick after because there's so many complex uh, combinations of different things and then if if we look at it after the fact and, and then look at these special cases, they, we get this feeling that they're really special, but they're not really. And it's like that old joke of, you know, th uh, firing arrows at a tree. Yeah. Uh, and you may hit the target, or you could just hit the tree without a target and then draw the circle afterwards. <laughs> so with these coincidences, it's like we're, we're drawing the circle afterwards. We're, we're making it special after it's happened. Okay, so Professor Abbott, I'm desperate to keep the romance alive, so bear with me. <laughs> um, <laughs> I can understand that, though, in, say, the example that you gave there, where you're sitting down in, uh, in a date situation and, you, and you're striving to search for commonality between the two of you and a point of, um, you know, similarity. But what about, for example, one lady that we had that uh, rang up just after 10 o'clock and was sitting having dinner in Brisbane... And then a fellow was next to her having dinner with another party. They, you know, a couple of people knew each other. They end up joining the table. And then that person ends up being her brother that she didn't knew existed. I mean, aside from sounding like it belongs on a Jerry Springer show, <laughs> that's pretty, that, that, you know, that seems like a coincidence to me. Yes. Uh, lots of unlikely things happen all the time. Um, and as I said you know, there's a lot of people on the planet. Uh, there's lots of complex events happen every day. And, and it's just another one of those. And they're going to happen all the And these types of events are going to happen all the time. I'm, I'm going to be in a crowd of people and I'm going to bump into somebody I know. Um, that's happened to me many times over my life. Um, and because... There's so many people there. You, you you expect that to happen every now and again. Mm -hmm. 
So, it, so can coincidences be predicted then at all, given that? Um, not predicted in the sense that, oh, I'm going to, you know, bump yeah. into somebody who's my brother and I didn't know he was. But you can you can say, look, that you can mathematically say that these types of events are going to happen um, within a certain population. And sometimes um, we kind of... Um, we kind of we don't estimate in our mind what the probability of a coincidence is correctly. We think uh, that it's more unlikely than it really is, and so it seems more remarkable. But if you think about it, um, you know, we we walk in certain circles of people. We we stick to certain parts of the town we live in, and you know, when we bump into people by chance. Um, we're, we're doing that within a certain social framework so that it's not like the probability of you versus the whole population of the country. It's, it's, it's you're working within niche groups, so it brings the probabilities down, if you know what I mean. Mm. Well, Professor Derek Abbott, I will try to keep the romance alive. I appreciate you giving us a very mathematical view on this. Thank you so much for your time. My pleasure.